right. Thanks good for having me. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, sir. Why? I mean, not why are you, it's good to see you or see me, but why is the market on such a good time? You know, a couple of great numbers today. We had the uh, ADP number today. It's a prelude to the number like ADP week. is the number of... Jobs, jobs. 285,000. Not the payroll number, no. but the number of new jobs created. Much better than expected. We were looking for 185, came in over 200, 285. Much better than expected. But the big number was the ISM number. That manufacturing, a non-farm manufacturing number, it was great. It really was. It was the highest level ever, which shows a real strong economy, not only for this year, but probably into next year. Right. Now, that would clearly suggest the reason why the bond, when the ISM number came up, it had been up about three or five, five basis points. Now it's up over 60, because, and it's over 3.1%. Correct. So the 10-year Treasury is suggesting higher rates. Correct, and, it, and it's going to happen. I mean, if you, if you look at what the Feds have been saying, if you look at the strong market, you know rates are going to go up maybe two more times this year. No. In October. Maybe, you don't know. One is what they've been well, talking they're about. they're saying one, but it's getting stronger by the day here. It really is. So we'll have to wait and see. What's the... What's the cloud on the horizon? Uh, we're talking a lot about this as the, as the program goes on. What are you worried about when you see this? Uh, it could be overheating. You got to be careful. I mean, right now people are dusting off 27,000 hats around here. You know, so I mean, the we're 80 points off 27,000. It Correct. could happen today or tomorrow. Could definitely happen. But at some point. People are going to say, hey, you know, let's take a little money off the table here. And you hear a lot of these worried talk out there. I think it continues into next year. I don't see any major problem. I think the tariffs are basically done with it. And okay in, with that. Well, tar tar you say that. Though. Yeah. But the, Donald Trump saying that he he's doesn't, he's not ready to talk to China yet suggests that there is more disruption on that to come. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, he talks a lot that president of ours, that's for sure. But uh, I, I think basically at the end of the day, that'll be worked out. I, I don't see a real major problem. The market doesn't think so either. The market, with all this turf talk for the last months, keeps going up and up and up. Good to see you, sir. Thank Thanks, you, Richard. Thank you. Uh, with the perspective on that.